Welcome to Color Folk and Anime, where we talk about anime from a colorful perspective. I'm your host, Lance, with good homie and co-host, Jordan. Yo. We here, we back, and we have a fun game to play, and it's called Guess That Anime. (laughs) I'm not going to put nothing on the screen, so that's as good as y'all going to (laughs) get. But Jordan came up with this amazing idea for us to come up with some obscure, some known... And, and those in between anime for us to guess for each other so today we have four anime each yes some very interesting or probably sus clues which <laughs> whichever one works and we are going to try to stump one another yes in guessing that anime jordan you kicking us off yeah what clue do you have so as always is, you know, if you're talking to somebody and you're suggesting like a starter anime or you're suggesting like a next anime for somebody, yeah, you're like, oh, I got this. And then as soon as you go to make a recommendation or yeah. come up with a game like this, every single anime you've ever watched goes straight out your head. <laughs> like they just like roaches scattering when the light turns on. Hit you with that good eyes and the- Exactly. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Who am I? So, oh, I hate you. Oh. Yeah, right. Exactly. So... <laughs> Uh, forgive us if our, our, our cuts are not as deep as some of you. Right. I'm looking at you, Cooper. Right. If some of our cuts are not <laughs> as deep as you think they, they deserve to be. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but as we're giving clues, we want you guys to follow along. Yes. Let us know how many of the total eight between the, between the two of us that you got correct. Right. And we only get two guesses for each other. I guess that'll make it a little okay. more edgy. Yeah, for sure. All right. So my first one. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with a little bit of a deep, deep cut for go this Go for one. it. Go All for right. it. I'm here. So my first clue is this, this one. I, had, I was chuckling this. So it's Romeo and Juliet, but ninjas. <laughs> what? Oh, my gosh. If you've ever watched an anime audience that's Romeo and Juliet, but ninjas, let us know what you think it is. But ninjas. <laughs> And then again, you just said this. It, I can't think of one ninja anime. And I know I've watched like 10 of them, but something yeah. like, I can't think of what. Like, you got another, you got one more clue? Yeah, I got, I got another what clue. You got? All right. So the premise of the show, and I'll give you the premise of the show. Sure. So the premise of the show is that a Shogun is getting close to, he, I think he, I believe he's sick. And he's got two sons, and he's deciding which son is going to be the next Shogun. So he gets, he hires two warring ninja clans who traditionally have hated each other. So kind of like the Montagues and the Capulets. Right, right, right. right traditionally right. have hated each other. And he hires each clan to represent one of the shogun's sons. And whichever clan is the last clan standing, that's the son he's going to make the shogun. What? what? That's the premise of the show. I'm all right. I'm giving up already. I give up. This is insane. <laughs> This first of all, sound dope, but it is. <laughs> it's it's dope. It's dope. I've actually talked about this this anime a couple of times on the pod in previous episodes. But um, yes. audience, I'll give you three, two, one, and the major reveal. It's called Basilisk. Basilisk. You did talk about this. Yeah, it's called right. Basilisk. Yeah. So yeah, yeah Warren Ninja Clans, uh, Romeo and Juliet style. Like they had yep. finally kind of come to peace, and then they're hired to kill each other, That's and crazy. then all hell breaks loose. It's great. Lord have mercy. Fantastic okay. action. Yeah, no way I was getting that. But I am going to watch that. I need to put that on my list. It's great. All right, here we go. Hit me. <laughs> Hit me. All right. We'll see. We'll see. I think this might be good. All right. Involves a samurai fighting to avenge his lost loved one. Okay. Samurai. It's not after our samurai, is it? There we go. After a samurai. Because <laughs> okay. the next one would have been a dead giveaway because it was it was gonna be he's followed by a loud talking alter ego. And if you didn't get that part, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Right, I figure out I, I throw a little light one out there. Yeah. I like that. That's that's good. Yeah. I mean, um, cause I felt like it could go a lot of ways yeah. because that's a trope or whatever, but for sure. All right. So the second one that I picked, I picked one that's um relevant there's a new season coming out somewhat i think it was just announced i'm gonna get this one i'm gonna get this one just man- this manifest one. the answer into your okay. head <laughs> <laughs> all right so first clue is it is a so it's a story of a kid who dreams of being a hero and he joins a clan to become the hero that he b- dreams of being 
it sounds like Naruto, but Naruto no, doesn't join Naruto. a clan per se. Right. Um, ooh, one more, one more clue. All right, I'll give you another clue. Okay. Um. So the clans are named after the gods or goddesses that they serve. What kind? Well, all right, what kind of gods? So they are based on uh, Greek mythology. Greek mythology, and I don't like know this. This is an anime. It's an anime. Yeah. If you need another clue, I got more clues. Jesus. <laughs> Have I ever watched? Do you do you think I've ever watched this? It's possible you might not have. Dang, I feel like because I'm big in a group mythology, I feel like I would have watched this one. <laughs> one more, all right, another clue, all right. another clue. So Give this clue is so for anybody that's watched the anime, this would be a dead giveaway. So along his journey, he picks up two nicknames. One is the little rookie, and the other nickname is the Argonaut. Nope, never watch this. You have to give this one. To- All right. <laughs> you got to reveal right, this fans. one. Three, two, two one. one. Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Oh, okay. <laughs> I, haven't wa- I haven't watched that one yet. I it's haven't good. watched that it's one good. yet. It's good. Yeah. It's, uh, it also is called uh, Familia Myth um, mm-hmm. or Don Machi or it's got multiple different names. Right. But is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? I'm, it's I'm guessing anime. it's like a, is it? Is- it's not an isekai. Okay, no, it sounds like a very much like an isekai um, title. Yeah, right. It does. <laughs> it's not an isekai. Um, <clears throat> follows. Um, totally just blanked out his name. Yeah. Um, but he he like joins a clan and it's like the Hestia clan and she's like this goddess that is yeah. kind of a joke. Mm-hmm. He's the only clan member, <laughs> and then like as the story progresses, like they they add people to the right. clan. It's a great. It's a it's a fun story. That's great. It's a great story. All right, now it's time for me to go on my deep cut. All right, let's, All right. let's hear it. Here we go. Um, okay, sure, sure, whatever. An outlaw <laughs> travels space looking for bounty and treasure with friends. <laughs> Did you pick Cowboy Bebop? No. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> let's <Okay>. go. Finally. <laughs> I was like, bro. I know I would go. I would go do that one, and I knew you were gonna go there. Yeah, this was a little yeah, misdirection. You yeah, you baited me. Okay, so that's one of my guesses. Okay, so <clears throat> hit me with another clue. The protagonist has a deep care for his ship. <laughs> Dang! If you ever seen the show, you know deep care means something a little more than just I want to polish you. It means I'm gonna do something a little more to polish you, but you're a ship. What? You're not talking about Gurren Lagan, are you? No, but you're oh. close. You're close. Okay, give us a three, two, one countdown and tell us what it is. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Outlaw Star. Oh, I've which never... is a sim- similar ish plot okay. to Cowboy Bebop. Okay. Except for he yeah. has a weird kind of affinity for his ship, which is <laughs> because seen... of the voice of the ship and all sure. of that. But I've never seen Outlaw Star. I'll have to watch it. That's cool. Outlaw Star, it was back it was on back in Tsunami days, but it just okay. was too much on Tsunami. So if you've never watched it, I understand, but go watch it. <laughs> it is worth the watch. Nice, nice. Okay. My turn? Yeah. All right. Uh next one. So, first clue is a young orphan dreams of becoming a great general. This is Naruto. Nope. Young orphan becomes becomes becoming a great general. That's the important bit of that clue. General. Becomes a great general. General. Okay. One more clue. More. Um. So. Takes place in the Warring States period in China. So that's like the Three Kingdoms, myth, Dang, like the mythos this? of the Three Kingdoms. You may or may not have the anime. I'll give you. I'll tell you the anime. A lot, a lot of people have watched the anime because the animation is trash. <laughs> it's trash. <laughs> so you're you. The manga is amazing. Yeah, I'll say say you. The manga is immaculate. Okay. One last clue. One I last don't clue. think I'm gonna get it, but I'll go ahead. Um, this is this is the dead giveaway clue for anybody that's watched or read it. Um, 
The main character wants to be a great general of the heavens. That's a specific, specific reference in the show. Nope. Not to count it down for me, sir. All right. For those of the audience that Jeez. haven't already guessed it, yep. three, two, two one. one. It's called Kingdom. Kingdom. Yeah. It's called Kingdom. See, all I, all I know is the show Kingdom, <laughs> but yeah. well, that's on Netflix or whatever, but that's not. Not that, yeah, yeah, Not, yeah. The, not, not that. the same plot at all. Yep, not that. Uh, but okay. Cool. That's fair. That's fair. I'm not mad at that. All right. All, all right. right. Here we all go. Right. <clears throat> Number three, my... hit me. Here we go. All right. Let's go with it. Um, This might be a dead giveaway or not, but if you're listening at home, fire can be controlled or the controller in this anime. Um. Damn. <laughs> I was like, I thought that was the, the uh, obvious. Fire one. Force. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I thought that was. <laughs> I was like, dang. I feel like. I'm yeah. Like, ah. Yeah. That's I'm good. Do I know. Okay. Cool. That's good. Fire Force. Nice. Nice. Did That's you guys good. get that one? Let us know. Right. Let us know. Um. All right. So for my number four, bringing it home. Yeah. All right. So this anime is. A battle royale style anime where people are chosen to take part in a winner takes all death match and they're paired with a summoned hero or villain from history. I know this. You yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Um This anime isn't that good though. Come on, bro. <laughs> Wait. If we're talking about the same one. They're paired up with a, a, a figure in history, right? Yep. yep. They, oh, my I think God. I, one more, one more, I think one you more. know what it is. I know yeah. what it is. Oh, my gosh. So. Oh, wow. There's multiple seasons one. of the anime, and each of the seasons kind of it follows, like, a different character in the story, and there's different iterations of the legendary warriors from heroes, from history and mythology. So different stories, different, different seasons. What the frick? And each season follows a different character from the story. Oh, my. If you need another clue, I got another one. And this, this one should be probably the giveaway oh clue. Oh, my gosh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, so the main summon for like two or three of the series is, is Arthur Pendragon. Arthur Pendragon. What? Yeah. The, what the? Fr- or wow. Saber, as Arthur is known as in the show. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm a I'm a totally blank. I'm gonna <laughs> kick myself after this. One. <laughs> yeah, you. Will. I really am. You will. Go, all right. Okay. Let's count it down. All right. Let's count it down. down. All right. Three, two, two one. one. Fate stay night. Yes. Uh. <laughs> so and then there's different. Like I said, there's different iterations. Yep. Fate. Yep. Fate and then you know whatever. Yep. Other oh seasons. My gosh. It's a good. It's uh, a good anime. You should. It's it's good. So yeah, and then you got the sun. It is a good one. It is a good one. Stuff. All right. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. Hit me hit me with your All right. with your fourth. Ooh. All right. Do we wanna actually mm. <laughs> It's gonna be it might it's might give it away, but I'm still gonna give it. All right. Fashion, poses, and family last throughout time in this anime. You talk about JoJo's. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to throw it in there. Just kind of know it's your favorite anime oh, man, of I all hate time. JoJo. <laughs> Anybody that's watched our Watch or listen to our podcast yeah. for any length of time knows that I hate JoJo's <laughs> with a fiery passion. And I'm not one of those fans that like just hates JoJo, right. even though I've never watched it. Yeah. Like I've watched, so to be fair, I've only watched like a couple seasons. I only mm-hmm. watched the first two seasons. Right, 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 right. I cannot get that time back in my <laughs> life. I ain't gonna lie. Everybody, and Chris said this when she was on the show, but everybody says if you get past the first two seasons, then you're fine. And I know what you're talking about because that first yeah. season is like... First season is what is this? one of the <laughs> worst seasons of any anime I've yeah. ever watched. Like, it's yeah. so dry. Yeah. So boring. Yeah. Like, the story, the characters are not interesting whatsoever. Yeah. With the exception of Dio, who is like, ends up being like the main villain for like most of the season. Right. <laughs> like... Right. Actually, he... <laughs> He's savage, but that's all yeah. another thing. Yeah, but yeah. So let us know how many you got right, and let's be honest. Be honest. Leave yes. a comment. Let us know. Was it eight out of eight? Was it six out of eight? 
is you do like me and get like zero out of eight <laughs> or zero out of four or whatever, let us know in the comments. We all know the slogan, stay colorful. Peace.